Hello, welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matt Horky, coming live here from Jupa, Alexandrovich, South Central Serbia. Uh, Shireen and I have been here over the past four or five days talking with so many winemakers, tasting their wines, and the wines here are phenomenal, uh, made with some really cool indigenous varietals. But the best thing about this place is the hospitality and the people. Uh, it, it's really a place that, it's really, a warmth, a generosity that I don't think exists many places in the world. And you add great food and wine on top of that, and it makes for a special place. I have here next to me um, Dragoslav Ivanovic. Uh, he is one of the more is one of the older producers here. He makes uh, his famous Prokopats. This is the 2014 bottle. Uh, Prokopats is a native variety here in Serbia. Makes some really nice wines. We'll be talking more about them on future episodes. But I wanted to have uh, Dragoslav on because the other night we had a great night tasting his wines. I think we started at 2 and after sharing all the stories we went till about 8.30 <laughs> p.m. and we probably could have went longer. So uh, thank you for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> Can you um, share with me some history about your winery? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, I, I, at first I try to, to say something about uh, winemaking history of this area. <coughs> Perfect. Because it is really old wine area. Uh, Serbs start to producing wine immediately after, after they come here in uh, uh, 9th century. Mm -hmm. And the first uh, Serbian documents about uh, producing wine in this area. We came from uh, uh, 12th century uh, and definitely uh, for Serbs in that period in 9th century uh, it was something new because they uh, come from place from north places where it is not uh, was uh, usual to produce wine. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that people before Serbs the who lives here before Seps also produced wine uh, and uh, from many centuries uh, from a really long period uh, every new ge generation from here or people who come here after uh, when they start to live in here they start they start they start to produce wine mm -hmm. also uh, my family come in this area uh, at the end of 18th century uh, and definitely they start to produce wine but uh, real uh, wine production uh, starts with my grandfather uh, I have his name yeah. he was also Dragoslav Ivanovic uh, and he start with uh, we, he formed company uh, at 1919, after uh, First World War, uh, and start with production of about 16,000 liters of wine. And mm. his production uh, before Second World War, at uh, harvest 1939 and 1940, were 500,000 liters. Uh, after Second World War, new government uh, forbidden private wine production also they uh, took a lot of property from winemakers cellars vineyards equipment and uh, my family almost top wine production they mm -hmm. produce some when my grandfather were uh, lived at the end of, of his days he produced about f between four and five thousand liters of wine per, per year, and that was wine for some kind of black market. Yeah. Uh, then my father uh, produced less than that, about one thousand, one thousand five hundred liters per year, and, and it was really uh, hobby wine, wine for him, his friends, uh, and uh, at 1996 I decided that it will be a good idea to uh, start again uh, family business. I come back home and start wine production. Now it is 
uh, small production, about uh, uh, 50,000 bottles per year. And so. I like the story. There's a, there's in his cellar, there's a little bit of chip on the top of the ceiling. You said the oak casks were so big, and when the government took the casks out, they couldn't get it out of the cellar, and they chipped off the top of your cellar, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I want to talk about this. Uh, this Prokopats uh, actually is available. It, there's a, there is an importer in Chicago, Serbian retailer, that does Serbian wines, and this is available. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below. Prokopats is like... The famous grape you work with, of course, Tom Janica, you work for Whites, but can you talk about uh, Prokopats, its potential, and, and what kind of wine it makes? Uh, definitely from this kind of, at first, it is really very, very old uh, grape variety. Uh, from now, uh, no one knows uh, where from that grape became. Uh, there is no uh, cousins of that sort. Mm -hmm. uh, last few years uh, s people who re research find that some uh, Hungarian sort uh, and also sort from s uh, north of Serbia uh, Kadarka mm -hmm. uh, became uh, it is daughter of that of, of Prokopat and also one sort in uh, Turkish Mm -hmm. Also, uh, also saw that that became from Prokopats, but uh, no one knows uh, how Prokopats, uh, where from Prokopats became, yeah. who is his father. Uh, that says to us that it is really very, very old sort. Uh, sort of is interesting because it is possible to produce many different types of wine. Lighter, uh, harder, maybe not with some very strong body, but uh, uh, good ar aromatic, very colorated, uh, uh, and tannic grape with uh, uh, medium body, mm -hmm. uh, very easy and pleasant to drink, and also wine that you made to produce in for for aging for uh, maybe not for many years like Bordeaux wine but for 10 15 years without problem definitely I have no experience with wines that uh, age more than 15 years and mm. who knows after 20 years I will probably that, that I will have new experience about that. <laughs> well, I agree. I think we'll talk more about Prokopats, uh, the native red grape here. For me, it's it's awesome. It's like if it's for me it's like a mix between like a Syrah, Cabernet Franc nose and then a Pinot Noir body. It's got beautiful flavors we'll talk about in future episodes. Um Dragoslav's awesome. His wife is an amazing cook. He's got great taste, so please make it down to Alexandrovich. Uh, come visit him, buy some buy a couple cases of wine. It's really phenomenal stuff. Thank you for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. <laughs> if you like the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel, and I'll see you at the next episode.